Good morning, people. Um, so today I am doing a couple things in the horse, so I thought that I would film it. Um, I'm filming this on my iPad to see if the quality is any better, but we'll see. Um, I look like trash because I just woke up and I'm not wearing makeup, so I apologize. Um, yeah. And yeah, so basically after months and months and months, well not that many months, but a couple, after a while of thinking about it, um, and it was a really hard decision, I finally made the decision that I'm going to move adjustments. Simply because um, I moved further into Brisbane a little while ago and I now live in a place where I have adjustments that are much closer. Um, whereas where I lived before, which was further out of Brisbane, um, the only option that had good facilities was 20 minutes away, or 15 minutes away then. It's now 20 minutes away where I live now. Um, so I thought that I would... I kind of thought that maybe I should move him and then an opportunity came up at an adjustment where my friends keep their horses. Um, and they told me about it and I was like, oh, that's really good because it's kind of self-care but it's on a roster so that you kind of all share it. Um, so in the end I decided that I would take that opportunity. So, yeah. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm moving yet but I do know it's next week when we're moving him. Um, so I'm going to start taking some stuff home from the other adjustment because I have a lot of stuff. Um, so I thought I would just, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just doing that kind of stuff today. Let me get my birdie. Do you want to come here? Come on. My birdie. Yeah. What are you doing? That's clean. Oh my god. So now I'm going to eat my toast and drink my coffee and watch some Netflix and then go. I'm in the car now. We're about to go. Um, yeah, I've got to grab horse feed that I have stored down there. I've got to grab all the gear that I won't be using. Um, so like saddles and bridles and just all my tack, rugs. Um, because if I go down there, I'll probably just ride in bare back. That way I can be organized and have everything packed up. So, this is what I'm dealing with. God. Why does this zoom in so much? So I have to get all this stuff out. On the walls. Lift these pallets up, make sure there's nothing under that. God. There's a hay behind there. <laughs> Jesus. So after spending most of the day cleaning, 
final product is done. So it's not that great of a picture. I can't really do anything about it. So if I come over here, I'll show you. Um, so it's in this little corner right here. Um, is that better? That's a little bit better. But all my stuff is just in. There's my brother's punching bag and mats and everything. Just ignore that. Um, so on this wall right here is where everything is. If we start here, I've got some buckets. I've got some my friend's gear. Um, she just was leasing a pony. And she wanted me to bring that home. Um, I've got my jump pads. All my bridles that are in use. There's, I've got my dressage bridle um, right there. There's some reins, my rope bridles, some random bridle, uh, my jumping bridle, my hackamore, just all sorts of stuff right there. Then here I've just got, um, I've got whips, duct tape, gloves, my helmet, then I've got a fly mask, a fly thingo, um, my lock, and a um, brow band. I've got my chaps right there, I've got a lunge roller, surgical thing, and I've got a grooming tote. Then, I don't know if I showed my helmet, that's it. And there's a lunging whip right there. Then my jump saddle is right here. And then there's my grooming stuff, bits of leather, all my like jump boots and polar wraps and everything, my medical stuff, and just like miscellaneous random crap. That's got fly masks and bits of bobs, like necks and hoods and tail bags. Then I got my two dressage pads and then my dressage saddle. And then that is the entire thing. So yeah, that's the overview. The um the way that the bridles are hung up, just ignore that because I had no way of actually attaching to the wall except going up to the support beams. But yeah, so that's on my tack at the moment. That's one horse. <laughs> I only own one horse and that's all his stuff.